What's up everybody? Jonathan here with a mod review. Alright, so first of all, <clears throat> if you're watching my uh, Facebook page last night, well, late last night, early this morning I guess, um, you saw that the uh, newly reworked Tiger Cat 635D Skitter has been released. It is public now. I've been watching this mod for a long time. This is not it, by the way. Uh, I've been watching the progress on this for a long time, been following it. I think at one time Serious Mods was working on it. I think uh, TMG was working on it. And now uh, the official release came from the JJ Logging Facebook page. And uh, they released it late last night, and I downloaded it. Did not get a chance to play it. I was working on some other stuff, getting a video ready for today. But uh, anyway, so here it is. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. This is not it. This is the uh, original Rambo 145 uh, skitter. And I was just going to do a quick comparison. So, you know, it's got the black uh, uh, push thing on the front. Um, blade, the black, black blade. Uh, the tires are all the same size, which in reality, I guess you could get them all the same size. But, whoops. But um, normally, you know, you run a bigger tire in the front and then smaller tires on the back, well, on the, the bogies is what they're called. Uh, and then the, the grapple is, eh, it's pretty crude, to be honest. It looks, you know, it looks pretty rough. And uh, the, the machine itself gets absolutely, completely filthy muddy. The whole thing, which is totally unrealistic. I mean, you would have to drive it through a mud pit to uh, make it look like that. And I think the uh, exhaust pipe's on the wrong side. It's not the the cab isn't enclosed. Um, let's see what else. Um, ah, just a bunch of stuff's wrong with it. I mean, it's it's fine. It's it's a good little mod. I mean, it worked pretty good. I I, I used it for a while when I first started out on Farming Simulator 17. But let's go take a look at the new one. And you'll have to just bear with me on my walking because my joy to key settings are kind of weird. But anyway, so there's the new one. Uh, Tiger Cat 635D. It's got all the proper logos and stuff on it. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, it's been baked in um, <clears throat> Blender, I guess. Uh, you know, it doesn't have... Looks like it does not still have the... Uh, windows on it but that's you know that's okay looks looks a whole lot better than the other one uh, in fact uh, uh I, oh i do need to mention that this is still beta this is not a you know fully polished refined mod it's it's still in the works uh in fact uh whoever runs a jj login facebook page said it you know been working on it just haven't got it finished and they got to go back to school pretty soon so won't have much time to work on it so he went ahead and released it anyway you know, I kind of wish they had put windows on it. <clears throat> that would uh, at least put a bit more of a finishing touch on it. Okay, so let's hop in the scene. Let's let's hear this. In fact, I'm gonna turn up the desktop audio just a little bit so you can listen to all this goodness. Okay, I jacked up the desktop audio a good bit, so this may be too loud, but I'll turn it back down in a minute. I just want to fire this thing up. What you hear is is pretty awesome. really nice sound to it, kind of deep throbbing uh, diesel engine sound. So let's, let's drive it over here and let's get a comparison. First of all, you probably notice that the, uh, the speed is really slow. And the speed is really slow like that. I mean, that's that's real life. I mean, this thing only has a top speed, I think, of 8 miles an hour, maybe 9, something like that. Um, 
and if you look over across to the Rambo 145 mod you'll see that the the back end has been reworked a good bit there's actually hydraulic I mean the points are there on the uh, Rambo 145 but they've actually added the hydraulic cylinders and stuff uh, and they actually work looks good grapple grapple looks good in fact I'm gonna see if I yeah okay so my joy to key I had my joy to key settings up for uh, the Tiger Cat 620 and so I wasn't sure if everything worked or not in fact the the front blades not but I can use my mouse and get it to go up and down not that we'll need that anyway but look how much of a size difference I mean I thought Rambo 145 was big but this other one this <laughs> this thing is huge not a whole lot changed in the in the front I mean they added you know the correct blade on the front they've got the correct logos and stuff the uh, exhaust pipe is on the right uh, the correct side and the doors look a little better uh, like I said I, I wish they'd have had time to put the uh, windows in to really enclose it that would have looked nice tires look a lot better okay so enough of, enough of the comparison with the old one let's go do some uh, let's go grab some logs so with the speed of this thing it's really going to affect your your skidding because you really have to make big turns if you can uh, to fully utilize the speed because you I mean you can't zip down there and grab a bunch of logs and zip back it's just you know you can uh, you really got to watch and plan how you skid I haven't looked at the inside yet. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. It's actually got uh, the the joysticks and the all that, whereas the other ones had a steering wheel. Yeah, they don't have a steering wheel, so that's pretty cool. So I guess there's just the one camera. Let's spin around here and take a look. Yeah, that looks neat. I usually don't use the inside view unless I'm driving. You know, the the thing I noticed though is it's really uh, kind of jerky fast. Like you're immediately almost up to like six miles an hour, even if you just barely touch the the throttle. So that's something to watch. And I don't have a, a bunch of logs in a bundle that I can grab, I don't think. So. Oh, I must have hit a stump. Yep. Stumps will slow this thing down. <laughs> Most skitters, though. Well, here's a here's some logs over here. I might can see how many I can grab. In fact, I think I'm just gonna try and blade them up a little bit. The thing that always bothered me about um, these skitters in this game is, I mean, I, I know it's due to the, the game itself, but you can't hardly ever grab more than about two or three logs, and then you, on your way back to the landing, usually you lose one or two. Let's see, we'll see, we got four here. Let's see if we can get them all. See, I wish it would let you close up a little tighter because I think what's happening is it's grabbing the bottom one and squeezing it, but it's not. Yeah, see, one just shot out. 
Well, there's three. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to cut down and get some more trees bunched up, I think, and really see. But uh, so far, I guess, you know, the, the initial impressions is I like the, I, I really like the look of it. The color's right. The logos look good. Uh, it sounds good. The speed is accurate. Um, the tires look good. Oh, let me see. Let me check the color. Let's, let me get over here where I can see. Yeah, the color on the tires, look, uh, the, the wheels look good. And before it was too too much of a yellow color. Yeah, if the only thing I think is going to be the deciding factor for me is if you can bundle up a bunch of logs and pick them all up and skid them without losing them. But, you know, one of the things they said was still yet to be fixed was the grapple. They wanted to redo the grapple some more, work on it some more or something, but so far it's looking pretty good. I, I like it. Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing so far that I, I really I guess I'm a bit disappointed, although I, I know this is still beta, uh, but they need to adjust the the speed whenever you first hit the throttle it, it immediately it's, it's too quick it just I think it needs to be a little bit more of a gradual uh, build up of speed instead of just an automatic burst of speed if they could fix that that'd be pretty awesome But I'm liking it. I really am. I think it's got a lot of power. It seems like it can just about go anywhere. And in real life, these things have a ton of power. I mean, you can grab a whole grapple full of logs and really go to town on them. Uh, I've been waiting on this a long time. You, it can, you can get chains on this, by the way. I didn't, I didn't get chains on it because most of the time where I live, there's no need for chains. Uh, living here in the, the south US there's just no need for it but let's see if I can't get them bunched up a little better and we'll try just one more time picking up these logs of course now we're on like it's gravel or whatever over here which I don't think should make a difference because the, the game doesn't uh, let you dig into the ground anyway so alright one more time let's try this Well, that looks a little better. Of course, it's still really not what this skitter can do. I mean, this thing will pull about a half a truckload up to the landing. I mean, let me just take off here real gently and see if see if it's going to hold. If it does, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it looks it looks fairly secure in there it's not exactly I mean they're moving around a little bit let's see okay so there's no strap on it that the Rambo 145 one has a strap that you can actually lock the logs in with which I don't like because it's not realistic and the the logs start acting funny whenever you've got the strap on okay well they're holding in there fairly good. I mean, I, I don't think they'd stay in there forever. I think when you start making some aggressive turns and stuff, they'll slide out. But I mean, they're already kind of starting to move. Yep, there goes one. And there goes another one. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. But maybe maybe they'll come out with another one an update to this one fairly soon but until then I mean this skitter should be just fine for hauling a couple of logs at a time or something I mean it's like I said it's not exactly realistic and you'll have to really plan out your your skids because with not being able to pick up more than about two logs um, 
you got to if you're skidding a long distance you may have to get another skitter that's got a little bit quicker speed and use this one for the shorter runs or something but anyway this is the tiger cat 635d and i was going to make a note here to mention which one which uh which folks did this okay so i got to give credits because that's you know got to make sure everybody gets their their proper credit so on the credits for this we're looking at KST247 for tracks and hydraulics uh, TMG logging Johnny9188 for the AO bake and Timber131 so you can thank those folks and you can also thank the good folks at TMG logging and JJ logging on Facebook for releasing this to the public finally so thank you for putting this out really nice looking forward to some updates where we can maybe get the grapple worked on and uh, possibly if there's any way we can maybe get it to where it hauls reliably more than two um, two logs which I'm not sure if it you know it, it could uh, I, I just don't know if there's any limitations with the game physics that will keep it from hauling more than two at a time but maybe something can be done anyway very nice mod. I've been waiting on this for a long time and I'm glad it's finally out. So y'all go download this. I've got the link on my Facebook page and I'll put the link down below uh, where you can download download this from TMG. So go check it out. This is Jonathan with Mod Review on TigerCat 635D. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.